do 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 in this video we will continue following the former Sheridan Road alignment of US Highway 41 North from Highland Park through Fort Sheridan to Lake Forest, Illinois. US 41 north of Chicago originally followed the route of Illinois State Route 42, which for most of its route ran concurrently with Sheridan Road. In the late 1920s, Sheridan Road through this area 
ran to the east of its path today, taking it through Fort Sheridan, the path of many current roads through the now-developed former fort take the path of Sheridan Road and Old US-41. On this map from 1928, early Sheridan Road ran through the fort. The route of modern-day Sheridan Road is labeled on this map as Green Bay Road. On October 8, 1871, the Great Chicago Fire destroyed a large portion of the city of Chicago. In the aftermath, Union Civil War General Philip H. Sheridan was called upon to take control when looting and unrest forced Chicago's mayor to declare martial law in the city. In addition to maintaining order, General Sheridan organized extensive relief efforts for the homeless and needy. For these efforts, Sheridan Road was named in the General's honor. In 1888, construction began on a new U.S. Army fort north of the city, and President Grover Cleveland would also name this new post after General Sheridan. Over the following years, the fort would serve as an induction, mobilization, and training facility during the Spanish-American War and for both World Wars. It would serve as a hospital facility for troops wounded during World War I, as well as for troops and civilians who were in quarantine during the influenza pandemic at the end of the war. During the Cold War, the fort served as an anti-missile service facility. From 1973 until its closure in 1993, the fort served as an administrative and logistical support center. Fort Sheridan was designated a National Historic Landmark in 1984. Nearly 100 buildings from the old fort make up the historic district. Many of these buildings were converted into apartments and other residential buildings when the historic portion of the fort was developed into a residential neighborhood. At this point, Sheridan Road and US-41 would have continued nearly straight, taking it through what is now the Fort Sheridan Forest Preserve. It skirted the Fort Sheridan Cemetery just to the west before continuing through what is now a residential neighborhood. That section, from here to Wesley Road, is obliterated today.
Although the original route is obliterated, there is a residential street called Rockefeller Road, which more closely follows the original route of Sheridan Road and US-41. See there he does.
Before we leave, here's some footage from the Fort Sheridan Cemetery. In the next video, we will continue following the former alignment of U.S. Highway 41 North from Lake Bluff through North Chicago to Waukegan, Illinois. Please check the video description below for links to several online resources that made this trip possible. Thanks for watching. Y'all come back now.